Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. You may notice we are dealing with a different title screen here. That is because I have finally imported my existing Binding of Isaac save file. And just notice on Platinum God, I think this is supposed to be underwear. Kind of looks like he's taking a dump or has the world's fattest wiener. Anyway, we are going to random here. Eve, why do you got to be like this game? Only today, apparently, we are going to be playing as uh, my least favorite characters in the game. But anyway, this is fine. Uh, again, consider this, you know, as much of a play as it is uh, me working out technical difficulties because we are still getting a little bit of desync. I hope it's not at the point where, you know, it's rendering the videos unwatchable. I've been watching it through myself. I've got the quality turned down to low just for now. Uh, and I am going to be making some upgrades to this computer in the very, very near future that should get this all sorted out. Even if there is a little bit of desync this time, I promise you. It is not a, a permanent thing. It is just something that is, again, a growing pain, a hassle. You know, last time I had audio desync, what happened? Well, we ended up buying a brand new computer for the channel that has now, you know, served us well for a very, very long time. And will continue to serve us well for a very, very long time. We just gotta put a little bit of, you know, extra juice into this one. And then we'll have two good recording setups, if you will. Anyway, it already feels for some reason like this is going way better. I'm not sure, it just feels like this is my game now. Now, I'm not playing somebody else's second-hand Isaac. Even though I am about to lose as Eve, probably. Please, Widow, don't fucking do me in. This spider here is worrying me the most, I think. Because he's being a little bit erratic. He's coming in strong. I don't really want to get close to this nub. Please do so- Oh my god, I'm hit. Please do something, bird. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm sort of fine. I'm gonna get a little bit of health here. Everybody's okay, alright. I haven't even been to the item room on this floor, so who knows what's gonna happen when that comes about. We get a range upgrade, which is comical to me, because apparently uh, on this computer all we are capable of getting is range upgrades and speed upgrades and the whatnot. Although we did get a pretty solid damage last time, I still ended up losing because I played incredibly badly. Some of the worst Isaac I've played in a very, very long time. But anyway, here comes Mr. Spider. Come on. What do we need as Eve? Damage. We need damage, we need health. We need everything that you need on a normal run with a normal character. Anarchist Cookbook is not what you need when you're playing as Eve, let's put it that way. Now, um, there is the potential that we could turn something good out of this. Like, for example, we could drop a bomb here and hope that maybe it's feed us in a jar. And no, uh, it's not even the secret room, apparently. Who would have thought? Anyway, we have Anarchist Cookbook and not a lot else going for us. Let's go down to the next floor. So again, with Eve, what do I love to do? Permanent curse state. So I guess since the first floor ended up being kind of a bust for us with respect to, you know, basically every item that we could possibly hope for, um, we're gonna look to get permanent curse state. By the way, we would do that, or the way we would do that is by getting. First off, we're gonna need to get an HP upgrade in all likelihood, and then we're gonna need to. I uh, maybe not. Maybe we don't get an HP upgrade. Maybe we get some spirit hearts, we sell all of our regular hearts for a mom's knife brimstone or something along those lines. I don't know what's gonna show up on this run. Anything could fucking happen. The Binding of Isaac, brand new West Coast location, who knows what's gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna drop a bomb. Maybe not, seven cents for a bomb is a fair trade, but there's not much I can do with this bomb. Or sorry, with no bombs. What am I trying to say here? There's not much I can do with 7 cents if I have no bombs and only one key, because I am going to use this key to go to the item room. So what good is money if you can't spend it, right? It's like, maybe you've got, uh, you know, a million dollars, but it's all in bitcoins. You can't do anything with it, except buy illegal drugs on the internet. Via the undernet, I forget what it's called. You know, this is something that some people may not know, and some people probably know a substantial bit more than me about, but there actually is a, uh... There is, uh, like an internet, I forget what the heck it's called, but the only way to access it, access it is by using Tor. And it's actually, I think it's called the Undernet, or the Darknet, or the... It's something along those lines. But anyway, it's basically, supposedly, an untraceable internet, and there's, like, websites on there where you can buy drugs and, you know, exchange your bitcoins. Money launder, basically. Make it untraceable for you uh, when you're buying illicit things online. Anyway, that's all I know about it. I would encourage you, I read an interesting article, I think it was on The Atlantic, about it. And clearly, not a whole lot of that stuck with me, but, you know, Wikipedia the Darknet, or the Undernet, because I've forgotten what it's called, and it is pretty goddamn interesting, at the very least. So we picked up Blue Baby Soul, it's not a bad item. I can live with it, and we'll get a uh, Magnet here, which is also, again, not a bad item. Not a great item, but not a bad item either, and we'll see what the heck we get. 
from Larry Jr. here. I was really hoping it was going to be Blue Larry Jr. and we were going to not have to worry about uh, Spirit Hearts. And then I just took a little bit of damage there, which was silly. That's okay, because this Larry Jr. is going to die in a second. I got distracted that Anarchist Cookbook actually worked out well for us. I seriously cannot believe just range upgrade after range upgrade. Whatever. Let's head down to the next floor. Way to go, Eve. You're my favorite, as always. Is there anything better than an Eve run where you also, you know, fail to get good items? If there's anything more pleasant than that, I don't know what it is. So we're just gonna back the heck up here. Kill this dude. And we do not have a key with which to access that. We could find ourselves dead on this room. It's the thing I always worry about when I'm using an item like Blue Baby's Soul. Uh, I find it hard to, like, watch what Blue Baby's shooting at and avoid, like, shooting a bomb off in my own face by accident. Something that has happened more than once. I just don't want to die. There's our key. Let's take our key up here. What do we get? Uh, Unicorn Horn definitely beats the shit out of Anarchist Cookbook, and that invincibility is very useful right now. Especially considering that we could find ourselves, you know, in a room where we could possibly die quite easily any second now. This should not be a room like that. This should be a room where we can... Ba oh, oh my god, I got hit by one of those silkworms. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Just chill out. We want to kill the shooters first. Mark Wahlberg. Everyone else can... Just relax. I'm not looking for you. What is this pill? Full health. Full health. Oh, hey! Imagine that. I have a surprising degree of luck when it comes to picking the... The pills. For better or for worse. Oftentimes it's for worse. Now the downside is I would have loved to have stayed in that permanent curse state. But anyway, things are going fine. Ooh, barely got out of the way of that one. Come on, Blue Baby Soul. This is your time to shine here. Got right up in his face. Keep it up. Okay, we got keys. And where the heck are we going to go next? I guess we're going to go to the shop. Because we've already been to the item room. I just I was checking on that again because I'm thinking... Is Unicorn Horn better than Teleport? I mean, it, it is. Especially since if I use Teleport on this floor, I'm just gonna get lost forever. However... I don't know. Just play the cards that were dealt, basically, right now. I'm really hoping HP Upgrade Deal with the Devil is our next hand, because so far... I don't think I've, in the last two videos, I don't think I've gotten a single Deal with the Devil. I've, I've walked into a room, but I've never been able to actually take one. I think, anyway. Which is pretty unusual, considering the frequency with which I normally go to deals with the devil. I.e. like two to three per floor. So let's see what we got in here. We got more money. Again, that is going to make the shop awesome for us. 25 cents. What do I want from the shop? Ooh, Book of Revelations, Blue Candle. We're using Unicorn Horn here. Because, I mean, I could have used it for the boss, but I was positive I was going to take some damage there. So I might as well use it. Now, we already have the magnet, so we don't really need the ladder. But what we could use is one of each of these. And we'll still have 16 cents to spend on the shop on the next floor. So we're all good. I may have... I'm definitely going to take some damage in here too. In fact, I may actually die on this room full of flies. That is embarrassing. But we got more health here. I feel like we're just like surviving on the skin of our teeth here. And I actually kind of wish I'd stayed in the permanent first day. Because as you can see, apparently I don't do enough damage to actually take out these nubs fast enough. Oh my god. Okay, so we're in our permanent curse state again. Come on, we can do this. We cannot do this. Fuck me sideways. Okay, back to the main menu. Obviously, these are not the people that I want to be playing as right now. We're going to play as Isaac. We had a good Isaac run a little while ago. Still getting used to things here. It's weird how it takes so long to load in, and I loaded in on the right side of the screen. I got no idea what's going on with that. If I can get these guys to blow up down here... I won't have to use a bomb to blow up the tinted rock. There we go, that went perfectly. It's just a chest. The chest contains a pill. The pill is... Pills that turn me retarded. Not really all that solid when you think about it. Uh, especially when you think about all the, the hard work that I had to do to get them. Well, I actually didn't waste a bomb, thankfully. Uh, otherwise, I would have been pissed off right there. So let's see what we've got. Bad trip. Man, this is... Luckfoot, where is Kane's Luckfoot when I need it? Well, I guess we're playing as Isaac, so the answer is on Kane. Sadly, I am down a little bit in health right now, too. Please don't explode on me. So we're gonna get Missing Page. He's a trinket that I don't really enjoy all that much. Attack Fly is certainly something that we might want to reroll. I just noticed that we did... Yeah, a little Steven shirt. I just noticed that we did have the D6 now, because when we played as Isaac last time, 
This is probably a frequently asked question, but we did not have the D6 because we were playing as an older save file where the D6 had not been unlocked yet. I know, it's weird, I forgot that that condition existed as well. Uh, but that is indeed what was going on there. So we should be fairly safe against Pin here. Really hoping for an HP upgrade because, you know, historically, at least today, my dodging has been absolutely garbage. I was reading today, someone tweeted me, they're like, Hey Northern Lion, your article on TV Tropes is actually pretty accurate. And it looked and it was like, Despite Northern Lion's, one of the, uh, like, subsections, like, despite Northern Lion's uh, feelings about his own play and many of his commentators, or commenters, uh, he's actually quite good at many of the difficult games that he plays, and I was like, that makes me feel good. It's a little pick-me-up, you need it after you're having, you know, three runs like this in a row, and again, I mean, I didn't comment on it before we went down, but we got that range upgrade. Seriously, seriously, who cares about that? <laughs> like... That's like the sixth first floor range upgrade that we've gotten in a row. Come for me, please. That sounded wrong. Seriously, Grandfather Flies? I'm not in the mood right now. And you're not dying in one hit, which is frustrating. You know what? We're going to use a bomb because the treasure chest is over there anyway. Awesome. And of course now the Grandfather Flies like, whoa. I feel perhaps we've awoken the sleeping dragon. Uh, we get Pretty Fly. Okay. So, we didn't get that attack fly from earlier, as we traded it in for little Steven, which is a solid trade that I would take 10 out of 10 times. However, uh, we do get this sweet ass pretty fly. Now, we do have one key. Shop is probably not worthwhile right now. Uh, we have no bombs, so we can't even get to that. But D6 is available to rear. Uh, we'll go with Ghost Baby, I think. Ghost Baby's a, a solid. It looks like this is going to be one of those runs where we get a lot of familiars, you know, when it rains, it pours. Uh, so we'll see if that is indeed the case, but for now, let us just move up to the right and possibly we'll pick up something amazing as a result here. Now I'm really hoping this low uh, video quality allows us to get a beat on what's going on with the desync with the audio, but if it doesn't, uh, rest assured that there will be some upgrades made to this computer you know, within this week, so uh, the desync is just going to be a temporary thing. It's frustrating for me, believe me, as more than it is for you. That's why I've been keeping the volume down like the last couple of episodes, because I'm like, eh, I don't really like when you get a key and then it's like half a second later that the key sound actually appears. But hopefully that does not uh, take too much away from your enjoyment of these videos. Basically at this point, the Binding of Isaac Let's Play has just become this absurd like rambling stream of consciousness for me anyway. And if you're the kind of person that's a fan of that, I don't think a de little de thing is going to worry you too much. So first things first, deal with the devil. We are going to get Brimstone, I know, I know, everyone hates me right now. We're also going to stick with the HP upgrade. Um, but, that makes me feel so much better. It's like a nice calming tea after a hard day at the office. Although this technically is my hard day at the office, so I don't know what to say about that. I can't believe we didn't take any damage there. At the very least, you know, we need to get good items because this is going to be, I mean, we're not just going after mom's heart in this game. Come on, shoot your bomb. Ah, oh, took it right on the chin. Oh well. Picked up more bombs as a result of that. Was it worth it? Not even close, but, you know, we'll live with it for now. We do have an item room down here. We have no keys. We have a nickel. We have no keys. Uh, we could possibly bomb our way into the shop if the secret room is here. Which it is not. Of course, that would make things far too easy. So let's see what we got here. We got double spiders. I'm really relying on Little Steve and Ghost Baby to kind of hook me up in these situations and take care of the crowd control. Hopefully, uh, they find it in their hearts to oblige. Let's see what we've got here. If we had more hearts, I would absolutely love to go to the, the curse room there, because you never know, you can get like Lord of the Pit, you can get deal with the devil items in there sometimes randomly. Uh, mostly, I just want some damage upgrades. And there is our key. So that key is probably going to be best used at the item room, because I do have the D6 available. Whereas at the shop, you know, I only have 14 cents, there might not be keys available, you know, who knows what the reroll is going to give me. X-ray goggles. You know what? Not even going to reroll that. Uh, because we can use that to find our secret rooms and that'll pay for itself super, super quickly. But for now, let us go to the far left here. Might as well, well, we can do things the easy way here. <laughs> Just do that. Uh, and this run already going substantially better than the run with Eve, which I feel like is the most obvious thing I could possibly say, but it's an eternal heart for us. There's another secret room back here, which has nothing in it. Let's see what the shop's got. It's got a map. Well, the map we know is worthless. 
We don't have any money is the problem. If we get another cent, maybe I will find it useful to get that, uh... Uh, da -da -da. like, uh, use my reroll in the shop and then get whatever uh, they're gonna have for sale there. We do have a key. But we're definitely gonna use a reroll on this boss if nothing better comes along. Not really feeling using a key for that golden chest in there. Let's try it up here. We do have a tinted rock. Almost missed that. I wonder how many tinted rocks I've missed today. Well, that is not good. Okay. Pretty fly. Yeah, we'll definitely take another one of those. So it's been a mixed bag on this floor. Some good, some bad. X-ray goggles, very good. Uh, you know, lots of golden chests instead of spirit hearts. Pretty bad. Eternal heart, still up in the air. It's gonna depend on whether or not I take damage here. Against the enemy that I always mention I take damage to. So yeah, I think there we go. <laughs> Already fucked. But uh, it's gonna be easy enough to kill because of the brimstone. Sadly, I think this, this could have gone better. There's no reason I had to lose that eternal heart there. It's a shame that it went down like that. However, you know, I still can't complain about an easy boss. Hopefully we'll get an HP upgrade as a result of our troubles here. That is, yeah, it's almost an HP upgrade. It's squeezy. And we're going to save our money and our keys and go to the shop on the next floor instead of the shop on this floor. I took the tears upgrade. Makes Brimstone charge a little bit faster, I believe. But beyond that, the two spirit arts may prove very valuable uh, with my health in as such, you know, low a position as it's in right now. On Catacombs Part 2. And we are going to do some destroying here. In all likelihood. Keyboard keeps sticking. I don't know what it is, man. Wireless keyboard and Isaac does not seem to mix. Every once in a while, my inputs seem to stutter out a little bit. So that'll be another thing that I'll add to the list of things we're going to buy at NCIX. Increased capacity for recording the Binding of Isaac. You just gotta buy the Binding of Isaac recorder. 30 bucks. Works 100% of the time. By the way, it's a product I just made up. Please don't Google it and then send me YouTube messages about it. Can we kill this guy finally? Speaking of YouTube messages, so this is something that I don't mean this in a negative way either, but uh, something I've been noticing is that since YouTube's like changed its layout six times in the past three months, uh, people get confused about where the search bar is on your channel. So I get all these channel comments, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, I get all these channel comments and there's people like, they just say one word, so they'll just, and it, sometimes it's not even a full word, it's just like a search term, basically like a pigeon word, so they'll, they'll be like, XCOM, and I'm like, well that's not really a channel comment, is it? I mean, if you want more XCOM, I, I understand that, and more XCOM is coming, but uh, that doesn't really mean anything. And then some people just put like, BIND, and I'm like, okay, you probably think this is where the search bar is supposed to be. Anyway, we are going to come back here, kill all three of these dudes. Is this our... Oh, I just, just straight right into that. That was our last uh, enemy to deal with on this room, so that's all good. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, we are going to go to the far left. What are we looking for? We have so much money, so many keys. We are definitely going to want to go to the item room in the Shaw oh, shit. Redemption. Shaw, you seen that movie? It's very good. Trying to keep it G-rated here. You know, want to keep my YouTube Let's Playing appeal as high as it could possibly be. Okay, so let's come down and around here. We can do this. Get a couple more shots in here. Oh, okay. That is sadly a dead end for us. I can't believe that this floor is taking us so long to... First off, so long to get through considering we're using Brimstone. And normally with Brimstone you just walk into a room and it's like, Hey, I'm done. But on this one, not so lucky. So I'm gonna go to up to the top, and if we have to, we'll come back down and around uh, to that like right middle side. There is our item room. I hate this room, but we have unlimited range. Finally, all those range upgrades paying off. <laughs> Actually, the exact opposite. Finally, all those range upgrades sold into complete redundancy. So we have Robo Baby. I'll take it because I'm going on this weird, uh, like all familiar quest this time. So we'll take this, we'll, ooh, that's very tempting, I don't know how we would get to it, but it seems interesting, uh, let's see, we've got in our shop down here, steam sale, certainly, uh, we can now buy everything if we wanted to, pretty fly, that's gonna give us our third pretty fly, which is awesome, I'm gonna buy a key, I don't really like buying bombs, I, I find them plentiful enough that usually you don't have to buy them, plus, we have the... Uh, X-ray goggles, if I remember correctly, unless I missed those in the first run where we died. Uh, so I should just be able to walk into secret rooms, and I think I have already, indeed, already walked into this last secret room. Stay here, fine. 
Let's move over here. Oop, I'm a little bit frightened about these spiders. These leaping spiders seem to be the most pain in the ass ones that we could possibly come across. Uh, there's another secret room up here. This will be our second secret room, just full of red hearts that we can't possibly use. Could go to the curse room and use those. I know dozens of you are saying that right now. However, I don't want to lose these spirit hearts. These spirit hearts from... You know, I've had them since we got squeezy six minutes ago, and they've been uh, very beneficial for us so far. Yeah, we've got a lot of double spider rooms here. In fact, a lot of just spider rooms in general. I'm not sure what's up with that. What do I want from this boss fight? I want HP up or damage up. Might as well, I should just put that in like the FAQ video. <laughs> what do I want from this room? HP up or damage up. Always. Every single time. So the benefit for this fight is that we should be able to kill uh, the bomb flies that the husk throws out here. Which will allow us to easily uh, do extra damage to him, provided that they stay reasonably close together. Alright, and one more to go. Perfect. We're gonna get an HP upgrade. That's We'll wait until we get in here. Ah, oh, I knew it! But we can reroll whatever Krampus gives us, because we want to stick with that HP upgrade that we got anyway. So all we have to do is just not die against Krampus, which is easy enough, I think. And if we keep doing this, we should be totally fine. Oh, that almost hit us right there, but we're okay. So we're gonna... Yes, I mean, it's the thing... I always bring this up when we have Brimstone Krampus, which is something that happens remarkably often considering my... You know, pension for Brimstone and Krampus's pension for being an asshole and showing up in these deal with the devil rubes. Uh, but I'm not sure if the lump of coal actually works in conjunction with Brimstone or if it causes uh, Brimstone to just like do the same damage. Because if it does damage based on range, then the lump of coal will be sweet with Brimstone, but I don't think it does. I've never really noticed a marked change. I could be totally wrong though. Anyway, we're gonna reroll it regardless. And we're gonna get uh, Spirit of the Night, which is fantastic for us, because now we can fly, and, you know, we, I guess, already have Spectral Tears. But going quite well, down to the next floor, now we can fly and use Brimstone, which is always, like, a defensive huge bonus for us. And it looks like we're gonna have an XL floor here, or possibly some kind of glitch, which happens remarkably frequently. I'm already doing my post-Isaac stretch. That's not a good sign. Come on, you can do it. Is this going to be the pink glitch, or is it just going to be an irregular XL floor? My guess is that it's probably going to be the pink glitch. If it ever shows up, it's already been like, there we go. <laughs> it took like 20 seconds, but we made it happen. Okay, so let's move on here. Uh, we're going to come up and over here. Oh, I forgot we have brimstone, so I really should not be taking damage on these rooms at all. I mean, I probably shouldn't have been already, but flying plus brimstone means... We should be absolutely 100% safe. Pop up in this room. That's mom's contact. It's freezing, right? Or slowing? Inner eye triple shot. Oh, god damn it. That's probably going to make Brimstone take three times as long to charge. It might, on the you know positive side, make it do three times as much damage. It takes forever to charge now, though. The good news is with flying, I'm not really in any rush on most of these rooms. However, it does take quite a long time to charge. I, it's golden key, that's fine. Not as long, to be fair, as the uh, quadruple shot makes it take. However, still long. And the good news is, I, I think it's the same as the quadruple shot, where when you walk into a room, it's automatically, or when you, if you hold down the button when you walk into a room, it's automatically charged, so there's no problems there. So we should at least be able to take out some of these bosses fairly easily. We might find more trouble on, you know, rooms like this one, where there's a lot of fast-moving enemies that are going to require or be difficult to hit uh, with just one brimstone shot. Well, difficult-ish, anyway. That was easy enough. Uh, we do have our D6 charge, and we're on the depths part one, so we're making fairly good progress here. We're getting close to the end-ish of the game. Is it going to work out well for us? It may, it may not. No one's 100% sure on that yet. We'll see. Uh, we'll come down into our... Up here, we got Greed. Should die in two Brimstone hits if I can actually hit him with that second Brimstone, which is still up in the air at this point. Oh my god. Come on. Work with me here. So, with this taken care of, uh, we now have 15 cents, so we're going to make some shop on the next floor. Very, very happy. And we've already been to really every room we would want to go to on this floor. So we're just going to get a meaningless cube of meat. Awesome. The good news is we're fighting war who is normally a pretty easy 
when you can fly and also have spectral tears. Spirit of the Night basically makes war a joke. Especially when you can do that and just get him trapped in the wall, apparently. Uh, well, this is going to be easy enough. I don't think he's going to be able to get out of there, to be honest with you. So we're just going to take him down super easily. Well, that sucks for you. We'll take our Kiva meat and get the fuck out of here. So Depths Part 1, quite an easy floor for us. Just lost my mouse there and found it again. Uh, we do have a... an arcade, which I don't really see a need to go to. That's weird. I didn't even realize that with X-Ray you could have this happen with the, the guts. At least we can still kill it. That's what I was worried about. That it was going to completely glitch out and we'd have to use a bomb to get out of here. Again, Brimstone taking 100 years to charge. I'm never... 100% sure that's not worth it. Uh, I'm never 100% sure if it's worth it to be uh, to have these like quad shot and triple shot with brimstone or if it's worth it to just like forego it. I guess we could have rerolled it as well. But I, I really thought it was going to be a slowing effect because I always get it confused with mom's contact. It's the benefit of course is that you have this one shot that does an insane amount of damage and that is a huge benefit especially when you're fighting slow moving enemies or a lot of slow moving enemies. Uh, the downside is that it takes fucking forever to charge. Which is a real problem for us. So we are going to kill this enemy right here. Come down here. And just hide in the corner, basically. Because while these enemies are coming at us, we should be able to... Yeah, well, I mean, that finished like five seconds ago while I was still on that train of thought, but what I was saying was basically correct. We're just gonna hide in the corner, enemies are gonna come at us, we're gonna pull out our big brimstone dick and basically just ruin their lives. Or make them the happiest girls on the planet, you know, it depends what you're into, I guess. Different strokes for different folks. Over here, I wish there was some way that I could hit both of these guys with the same brimstone and not wait 10 minutes for charges, but that's fine. I guess what we really want now are tiers upgrades. Actually, what we really want now is the item room or the shop, and not the boss room. Aw, oh, god damn it! Okay, what we really want now is an item room or a boss room. So let us come uh, up and over, I guess, is going to be the best way that we can do this. We could go to the curse room, but I really don't want to lose those spirit hearts. I've had those spirit hearts for a while, if they're the ones that I got from Squeezy, so I'm happy about that. Now, we're just going to back the heck up here. Pick up this key. Things are going quite well so far. There's our uh, item room. Do we have a chance? I mean, we're gonna beat Mom. That's gonna, that should be obvious. Uh, do we have a chance against, like, the chest and the cathedral? Sort of? <laughs> like, we have... We have a nice defensive party. We don't have a lot of offense. Even though we do have all these familiars, that bad trip pill could eventually be worth something as full health. We're definitely gonna reroll our item room. Oh my god, Telepathy for Dummies may actually be the worst spacebar item in the game. It gives you homing for one room, there's an item in the game, passive item, and not even a great passive item that gives you homing, you know, for the entire game without even having to waste a spacebar item slot or your time. Uh, there was something in this room, what was it? It was Isaac's head, right? Well, it doesn't really matter what familiar we have, because we're going to get rid of it. Or sorry, what trinket we have, because we're going to get rid of it uh, on this mom boss fight anyway. But, so we'll see what we have in the shop. Because, always makes me feel like so professional when I say we'll see what we have in the shop. <sighs> I don't necessarily want to use my reroll. I would rather use it on the item room, because telepathy for dummies is, like, absolute garbage. So let's take some of this stuff and we'll see what we've got. Three white pills could be great. Range down. Well, that's not good. <laughs> if only they had been health up, things could be very different right now. So that was a total waste. Strength card is alright. Uh, we're gonna check this out quickly, I guess, and then make our way back. We might as well do this. I'm gonna, just gonna charge up my shot first, because otherwise it's gonna be a big pain in the ass. Let's teleport. Oh man, now do we reroll the teleport, or do we reroll the item room? Decisions, decisions. I just want to be out of here now. But sadly, we can't just use teleport to do that. Because then I would lose my d6 and I couldn't reroll the item room anyway. I'm gonna go back and. I might as well reroll this because I don't think it matters whether I reroll. I mean, it's the same reroll either way, is what I'm trying to get at. Whether it's here or in the item room, it's exactly the same functionally, I think. So we might as well just do it here. If it doesn't. If it's all the same to you guys. Just reroll teleport. You get skeleton key. 99 keys? This is nothing to sneeze at. Uh. It's not really going to go a long way towards helping us out, considering the position we're in is already not great. Like, we're... <laughs> we have Brimstone. 
That's good. It takes a while to charge. That's bad. Uh, we... What are the other benefits that we could possibly accrue for us here? We have three hearts and a lot of familiars. That's good. We have no way to replenish our health, especially spirit hearts. That's bad. Uh, overall, I think this run is not going super hot so far. We do have a spirit of the night, which I totally forgot about, but... Uh, things could be going better, they could certainly be going worse. Let's put it that way. We're gonna try to focus on the positives. Maybe we'll get amazing treasure from this next little bit here. Uh, in any case, the Mom's Heart boss fight should be uh, a no-brainer. I just totally whiffed on my uh, charge there for Doomstone, which I can't afford to do. Now I'm all out of the rhythm here. There we go, that's better. And I really need to actually hit with those, not just hold on to the charges ad infinitum. Let's keep it up, just backing up and around here. I don't think I got hit there. I don't. No, I didn't get hit. Kind of remarkably. I did get hit there, though. But Mom's down to 50%. Good fight so far. It seriously takes so long to charge up here. There we go. Still didn't get hit there somehow. You can do this. I have faith in me and the items that I've received so far. Thank you, Mom, for stepping on the worst enemy we would have dealt with there. And one more hit should do it. We'll probably still get caught in the explosion. Yeah, we did. But we did get meat. Meat's a great item. We're out of spirit heart, so it's especially good now. And we have the Polaroid. So meat is going to be extra damage, the HP upgrade, and uh, tears upgrade as well. The damage upgrade is not advertised, but people keep telling me that indeed the damage upgrade does exist. So I'm just going to take them at face value. Whether I should or not, that's a valid question. Now we are just going to try to not get hit on this room. Pretty basic Isaac strategy. I can't get over how long it's taking me to charge up these two shots. There we go. So we got one spirit heart out of that. I did not expect that. Would have loved to have had the compass at this point, but I guess you can't always get what you want. Oh. Remember a couple videos ago I asked what are the worst enemies you could face in the Binding of Isaac? These are the worst enemies you could face in the Binding of Isaac. And their boss is annoying as hell, too. Alright, so this is going to be a dead end for us. Oh, I did get a brimstone charge out of that. Also, is there a big... It looks like Techno Baby or Robo Baby occasionally has like a big laser shot, almost as if brimstone is working uh, in conjunction with his laser, too. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway. Back it up a little bit here. Guts guy is dead. Ooh, I'm almost dead. Let's kill this. Kill this. And move onwards. Okay. So everything's going fine. Are we in a position where we are going to beat this game? Almost certainly not. Please. Oh, I don't even need to use a key. I'll just go over here. Uh, especially if I got that tick. That would have been horrible for us. Might as well check and see what we got in here. Fine. Two awesome bombs. You know how I said awesome? What I meant by that, I, don't tell the bombs, I mean they're douchebags and nobody likes them. And that's why we didn't invite them to our last birthday party. I'm just trying to figure out, I was just looking at the map, like, squinting in the map because the monitor is like 10 feet away here. I'm trying to figure out where the heck we're supposed to go. It looks like that right direction was the, well that was, this must be the room we started in. So I cleared out like an entire side of the womb for no reason. You know, more room for activities later. Once we, you know, colonize this and put up a parking lot or something. When we start selling our mother's wombs as real estate, is that the point where we'll finally realize, man, something about the nature of life and capitalism? I don't know. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Check down here. We get a key. We get a boss room. We get a Gertie Jr. And Gertie Jr. is going to show us the way to the boss room. Gertie Jr. is going to show us the way to the boss. Gertie Jr. is going to show us the way to the boss room. Gertie Jr. is going to almost hit us. And that ain't cool. Gertie Jr. is going to hit us. And then show us the way to the... Oh my god, I still only have two hearts too. And by still, I mean I only have two hearts. Which is super not good for us. Um... There, finally, we come across the boss room. Utero 1. We may die here. I, I don't want to believe it, but it's possible. It's going to be double Loki. It was probably one of the easiest bosses we could face right now, actually. But, we're going to need to kill one of them before that prophecy becomes fulfilled. There, one's down. We'll go after the second one. This is going to be an easy fight. 
We're gonna want, uh, oh, the Spirit Heart is huge, as is the Red Heart, actually. Those are important upgrades. We get another HP upgrade, and we get an opportunity to take a deal with the Devil. What could you possibly offer me, old man? You know what? We'll take it. Let's go with the Mark. Let's reroll this one. Nine lives would... it's a death wish right now. The reason I went for the mark, uh, increased rate of fire, I believe. Maybe not. Increased damage at the very least. The mark, it just gives us some stats up. Which is okay with me. Important! And, you know, considering this run is pretty much damned already, I think this is the best we can do, is just mix it up a little bit. Take chances, make mistakes, get messy. I've already forgotten the rest of Miss Frizzles. Uh idiom there. Not really an idiom. Mantra, that's what I was looking for. Let's this up. We can get a couple more shots in. Ah, oh, we only need one. We're using Brimstone. What am I talking about? A couple more shots. A couple more shots we could kill Satan. Like, Satan in real life. There is no Satan in... Well, you know, I'm not gonna bring my religious beliefs into this. Suffice to say, what I was saying didn't make any sense, but, you know, what else is new? Open, we go. Okay, we got one more dude left. I think we can take him out fairly easily. Perfect. We got Blue Baby Soul. I would love to do something with that, but we can't. Whenever you say do something with it, it always makes it sound like a creepy bastard, doesn't it? Oh yeah, there's Blue Baby. I'd love to do something with that. Stay away from my kids, Northern Lion. Oh, and that is Cancer. That's a great trinket, but we can't really do anything with that. I'd love to do something with Cancer. You are a sick bastard, you know that? We got it. Please tell me this is not a dead end. I've gone through a lot on my, my quest to get here. We just come on, help me, please. There we go. Uh, I'm trapped over here in the corner for some reason. Again, this wireless, yeah, this wireless keyboard man is messing with me a little bit. Sometimes it's just like, hey, you want to just stand against the wall, right? No wireless keyboard. I don't. I don't know why you would think that. That's not a viable strategy in the Binding of Isaac. Most of the time. So we're just gonna charge up our brimstone. We gotta be very careful about when we use this, or very we gotta time it appropriately. I didn't even know that guy was still alive. So I hate using uh, brimstone there, but like I said, we gotta be very careful about when we use it because we really need to hit both the enemies and mom's heart with it every single time. This guy should be dead soon, but I'm gonna have to use one more brimstone charge in all likelihood. Oh no, thank you, Robo Baby. Nice guy. And somehow that did not kill those Larry Juniors. Which is kind of unbelievable to me. Now the zombies, ah, that's what I was going to say. That's going to be the hard part, but apparently it actually turned out fairly well here. We're down to about 40% on Mom's Heart. I would expect some continuous bomb firing. There we go. Get some more enemies coming out here in a second, I assume. Yep, yeah, some more continuous bomb firing. And we did get uh, to the bombs before we got the chub. Which is always my indicator of like, ah, yeah, we got a pretty powerful run then. So Mom's going to die here. I think Ghost Baby got the final hit there, which is probably the first time I've ever said that. So we- where's the cathedral? Am I missing something here? Why can't we go to the cathedral? Um... Okay. Game's been a little weird and glitchy. We're gonna go to Shoal, I guess. I'm not sure what's up with that. But, let's go kill Satan. It's been a while. Uh, I'm gonna look into it. That's real strange. This is my file, but I'm wondering if maybe something didn't import right or so. Oh my god, what the, the heck happened there? Like, if it doesn't, if I have to go through all the achievements again. Oh, you know why? Because it's probably authenticating through Steam. And I'm not playing this on my Steam account right now, even though this is my file. I got it. That's probably what's going on here, although, who knows. We'll see. I'll try to get it figured out for the next video. I'll at least do some testing on the, in, during the next video to figure out if that's what's going on. Again. This is what you get with the Northern Lion experience, just constant, uh, in uncertainty. I was gonna say insincerity, but that's not true. Just constant uncertainty. So here we go. It's been a while since we fought Satan. This is gonna be a nice change of pace for me, for sure. Fallen's gonna show up. Fallen's gonna fall down. We haven't fought the Fallen today, actually. He's a fairly common... well, I guess he's not that common. He used to be very common when you fought Satan every single time. I might as well pop the Strength card for this fight. I mean, there's no reason not to. It's not like we're waiting for anything better in the future. We got regular version of Satan, who is actually probably the easiest version of Satan. At well, least firing crazy fast. What are you doing, man? Back this up. Probably gonna kill him in another three shots. I'm thinking. 
And then it's gonna be the real test, is if I can beat him... Uh, the foot version of Satan. Oh, that was lucky on my part. Finally we have a charge, that'll do it. Okay, now foot version of Satan. I mean, we have to get hit like seven times. Which I find probably pretty unlikely. Although, you know, it could happen. I mean, we're dealing with bomb flies as well, who are annoying as hell. We'll just get charged. There we go. Two more hits is probably enough. So I'm just gonna back them up until they're both in a fairly similar position. Alright, we're done with that! That was a weird run. I have no idea why I didn't go to the cathedral, but hey, uh, it's a hollow victory, but it's a victory nonetheless. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.